Hey farm hands, farm boy Reef here. Welcome to the lab. So in this episode of the lab, um, we're going to talk about cleanup crew and why they're so important for in your tank. Um, I have uh, 50 uh, Mexican turbo snails right behind me here. They're just sitting here, just acclimating a little bit. Then I'm going to show you how uh, to acclimate um, these snails before we put them in our reef tank. A different technique. I have uh, I have a jug here and I have a quarter inch uh, line with a bell, and we're going to do the the drip the drip. Uh, alchemation system on these uh, snails and well, at the same time we're going to check them all out make sure we have no pests on them. Um, if you ever heard of uh, the pyramid snail, sometimes they'll uh, attach to all different kinds of snails and it's one way they get into your reef tank. If you have a collection of clams, good luck. Those little uh, pyramid snails will end up they'll feed on the mantle of your clam and kill it out. So always be proactive guys, that's why it's always great to always uh, dip your corals and even I know like I have 50 of these turbo snails but I'm going to check one each one over very carefully to make sure I have no pyramid snails or any clear eggs as they can lay because as soon as they get in your tank they're very very difficult to get rid of. So these uh, Mexican turbo snails what they're really good for is any uh, nuts and nutrients algae that's in your tank. If you have hair algae they'll end up cleaning your rock, they'll graze, um, they'll get on your glass, they'll keep the glass nice and clean and any uh, debris or leftover uh, fish food they'll clean that up as well. But if your tank is really clean, you have no algae in there, it's always good to supplement them with a little bit of seaweed, you'll enjoy that as well. So what we're gonna do right now, um, so right behind me I got the 50 uh, Mexican turbos. I'm gonna bring them out, we're gonna put them into, into the container. I'm gonna show you guys how to acclimate them. I just got a quarter inch line, but just with an RO valve is the way I like to do it. You can do different uh, techniques, but this is one that you can adjust your flow and just have that nice perfect drip. So what we'll do is we're gonna take them, we're gonna pour them in here with the water, and then we're gonna do the drip system right from the reef tank and just let it drip for about an hour so we get our salinity the same and our temperature. It's very important because they're, they're very touchy on uh, fluctuations of your salinity and temperature. All right, gang, so let's go ahead. Let's get them all in here. We'll start the, the drip loop. All right, guys, so here's the 50 uh, Mexican uh, turbo snails. As you guys can see, they have a really nice uh, pattern on uh, on their shell. That's why it's very important to keep your, uh, your uh, calcium levels high because they end up using the calcium to keep growing their uh, nice shell, as you guys can see. So I got 50 of them here. So what I have to do is, I, what I like to do, I'm very picky, is I like to make sure there's no pests on them as well because you know they can get them on their shell. A lot of the time, the pyramid snails, I know it's maybe it's common with uh, the Mexican turbos, but what can happen is they can get along the, like the fleshy area on these edges and then they just stay here and they feed and then they get into your reef tank and then they attack your clams. I'll put up a couple pictures of what they look like so you guys can see, all right? So what we're gonna do now is I'm just gonna examine all these, make sure I got no, no little pest uh, snails on them. All right guys, so I'm just gonna look over each one, make sure we have no pests on them as well, because uh, those little snails are a real pain and they're very hard to eradicate and get rid of. Just double check them all, and then we'll start the, the drip uh, acclimation process on these. Everything's looking good. You know, almost just like coral, you got to make sure you don't want to get any uh, different little pests, bubble algae, any of those things in there. All right, gang, so I'll go ahead and get this all done. So what I got here is I got my quarter inch tubing and then I have a quarter inch uh, little valve. So this is how I adjust my flow. So I did it, I just put a paper clip here, holds uh, into the tank and then I siphoned it and it's going to go right down into the bucket and with the snails. So it's a slow drip loop and I'm going to keep doing that for an hour so it acclimates uh, these snails because they're very touchy when it comes to salinity and temperature. So I'll bring you guys down here close and I'll show you guys how much drip over an hour if that looks uh, at the rate, okay? All right guys, so here's the quarter inch and this is the valve I used so I can adjust my flow so I get that drip. And then I just uh, used just a little uh, paper clip to hold it on and the tubing's in the tank. And then we come down and then we got our we got our snails right here. As you guys can see, I got just a little bit of a drip going on there. So about an hour or so, I'll, I'll just uh, test my salinity, make sure everything's the same. As you guys can see, just a nice uh, just a nice drip. So this is just a dripping uh, acclimation process. Just a nice uh, constant drip for about an hour and we're good to go. So those are looking really nice. Um, I got about 50 there, so I'll put 16 per tank. Um, what it usually works out, they try to say one per gallon wise. So, you know, my tank's just starting out uh, new, so I don't need that many right off the process here. So it's looking good, so I'll give that about an hour 
and then we'll come back and uh, we'll just start checking out, get these into the tank. The turbos, they've been uh, acclimating about an hour now. I just checked everything, everything's perfect. Um, I have to speed through things, you know, it's just like a cooking show. I can't show you everything at one process, but these guys are ready to go now. So we're gonna put 16 in each tank and then we're gonna come up close and personal with them and we're gonna learn a little bit of information about where they come from and everything they can do. All right, gang, so uh, let's start getting these into the tanks. All right, guys, so we're at the Asgard tanks. What we're gonna do is we're gonna count out 16 of these. What's important is you don't get uh, your fish store water into your tank. Um, one thing is always it's good to quarantine. I have my own quarantine systems like with my fish when you guys see my other videos. What was going on there is that was my own water. Everything was good in those bags and it was all from my quarantine system. So everything was perfect. But I just want to show you all these different ways to acclimating. So this is the way I acclimate. I do my snails and I do my fish. There's a few different processes. Um, in my other video I'll show you guys how to acclimate fish with the drip loop and as you can put your bags in your tank as well and not put the water in there. So right now, so let's go ahead, let's get this uh, the Asgard tank, let's get 16 snails out. So I've already looked through them all, make sure there's no uh, like pyramid snails or anything on them. Um, so these are, you know, these are a newer tank. So what's gonna happen here, uh, there was a lot of aggressive fish that like to eat snails. I would have placed them all on the rock, but right now I'm just, uh, everything's acclimated. Um, I only have, you know, a tang, some clowns in there right now. So what's gonna happen is I'm just gonna drop them into the tank and they'll end up flipping themselves over and there's nothing that's gonna eat them. So let's just start putting them right in here putting them right on the rocks. So I like here with the Marcos rock, I use the, the MV400. It's good so all my rock is solid and nothing's gonna, they can't knock it over as they're grazing. So we got three, 60. All right, so we got our 16 uh, Mexican turbos in here. As you can see, they're all starting to flip uh, each other over now. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna head over uh, we got a uh, tattoo to do and then we have our uh, uh, Krypton tank. So we're going to end up adding 16 in each of those as well. So I'm going to go ahead and do that guys. So we're at the Asgard tanks. Now you guys can see the, the Mexican turbos there. They're starting to be mobile. They're all flipped over. They're moving up on the Marcos rock. Um, one thing, make sure your rock is uh, very well secured because if you don't, um, they end up, they can knock um, your rock over and damage corals or your tank as well. So make sure everything's fastened. Like with this Marcos rock here, there's lots of great nooks and crannies for them to hide. Um, if there's any like different aggressive fish that's picking on them. Um, like in this tank, there shouldn't be anything really aggressive that's going to want to eat them, but you never know what you're going to get. Um, they'll, end up, they'll end up growing about two inches. So they get fairly big. So that's great. They do great. Uh, they like to, uh, you know, feed on any algae that's on your glass to help keep your glass clean. And if you're having any algae outbreaks, they'll definitely clear things up. This is a. Uh, these are fairly new tanks, so they're going to work on any of the little algae blooms we're going to get here. But cross my fingers, everything's been going great so far. These snails uh, originate from the Gulf of California, off the coast of Mexico. They enjoy eating a lot of hair algae, so they eliminate a large amount of that in your tank. So. If you guys have problems, end up getting these puppies, they'll definitely help out. That's why it's very important to have snails and cleanup crew in your tank. Uh, the Mexican turbo snail, I hope you guys learned a little information about that. So we got 16 in each tank to start for now. We're gonna have a whole bunch of different uh, cleanup crew coming up, a whole bunch of different uh, marine fish coming as well. As soon as we have our fish, our cleanup crew, everything's in check, we're gonna start putting some uh, really amazing corals in there. All right, gang, so thanks for tuning in this uh, episode. Uh, please subscribe and hit the like button.